parent is very hard. Um, I'm still figuring out day-to-day activities and how to get those done. Where some days she wakes up not wanting to even get dressed or brushing her teeth is a hassle. Let me see your tongue. Uh, uh, ew. You ready for school, Babella? Yeah. yeah. I became a teen mom when I was sexually abused at the age of 16. I had to, you know, confront that situation and figure out how I was going to move forward because now I was not just um, thinking about myself, but I was thinking about my child. I'm Julie. I'm a peer educator with The Remix. Remix is a curriculum taught to high schoolers and middle schoolers on sex education. Uh, we not only further their knowledge in sex education, but also on decision making, relationships, and uh, communication. Oh my guys, there's so many changes you go through. So you were a child and then you're transferring to your adolescence. Higher estrogen levels. Higher estrogen levels. What was that? I never had that, you know, puberty conversation with my mother. I never had anything about sex or anything. Like, I, I was so oblivious to uh, my own self, my own body, and what was going on. And having all these things that is in Remix and all these kids are getting to learn, I wish I would have learned at their age. If I would have had that, I feel like a lot of things would have gone extremely different in my life. Working at Agenda Health has um, helped me develop professionally as far as helping me put together a professional email, manage my finances. I wasn't very comfortable speaking in front of a crowd. I was very nervous of implementing a curriculum to kids. And Gender Health has helped me a lot, becoming confident in myself and in my story. I could not go back to school. I had to make sure my daughter had food on the table, was able to go to daycare, and I was able to work. At one point in time, I actually became homeless. And that's when I met my partner. And she gave me a roof over my head, and she became my complete support system. I have always been an artist ever since I can remember. And with that, I want youth that is homeless and youth doesn't, that doesn't have the resources, but that are so talented to be able to display their artwork and be able to sell that artwork for what they believe it's worth. That's what I want to do. I want to open my own business. And now I feel like I'm in the point in my life where I'm pursuing yeah. all of my dreams and my daughter is doing amazing and my wife's doing amazing as well. So living life and confronting all those obstacles that are thrown at you and keeping your head held high and picking yourself up when nobody else can pick you up makes the biggest difference of the world. <laughs> One, two, two, three. Go. Three. Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, <laughs>